will draw the simple machine component using Cutia V5. This is my component. So here we go. First of all, we will draw the feature shown on the horizontal plane, this rectangular plate, which is 80 by 120. Okay, this 80 plus 20 plus 20 is 120, and this dimension is 80. So here I go to the start mechanical design and I select part design you can enter the name for your part in this window I will keep it at default now this is my part modeling <coughs> interface so I want to select horizontal plane so I have selected XY plane then go to the sketch tool here is my sketching environment I want to draw the rectangular plate so I go to the profile tool and select the rectangle command select two diagonally opposite points and here is my rectangle now we will constrain this rectangle about horizontal and vertical axis using the symmetry constraint so select the two horizontal lines then select the axis about which we want these two elements to be symmetrical and go to the constraint toolbar select the constraint tool apply the symmetry constraint this repeat the same thing for these two vertical lines select the two elements and then the axis go to the constraint toolbar select the constraint symmetry so now my geometry is symmetrical about horizontal and vertical axis you can see here it is equally growing in both the directions now let us give the dimensional constraint so select the dimension from constraint toolbar select the element vertical line place the dimension double click the dimension to edit its value so it is 80 so i will enter the value using on screen keyboard so this is 80 right now this horizontal line is 120 so place the dimension and edit the value it is 1 2 0 so now all the elements in my sketch are green in color that means my geometry is fully constrained so I can exit the workbench using this tool now here I will add the material using the pad command from sketch based features toolbar so I, I, I select pad now the material has been added in upward direction but it is always better to add material in both the directions for first component so I will select the mirror extent in the pad definition dialog box and now the depth of this plate is 15 okay total depth is 15 so I will enter 15 divided by 2 okay because we are using symmetry condition for adding the material so 15 divided by 2 it is 7.5 so here is my rectangular plate now next we will draw this component on left side and then on the right side okay so let us select this plane as the sketch plane so I will select the sketch tool this face as my sketch plane now I will draw the component in this plane okay so I have curved surface so I will make use of this tangent curve option from the sketch tools and close the profile now here I need to apply the tangency constraint Okay, so this is tangency. Now this is in line with this. So let us apply the coincidence constraint, and this vertical line is in line with this edge. So coincident. Now the distance of center of this circular arc from the top surface of this rectangular edge is 50 okay 
so here I go to the dimension tool I'll select the top surface and the center place the dimension edit the dimension to the value of 50 so this is 50 done now this edge I will place it on this using coincident constraint now here I have done all the elements in my sketch are green so it is completely constrained I can exit the workbench now we will add the material using the pad command in sketch based features toolbar so here I select the pad I want to add the material in reverse direction so I will select reverse direction in pad definition dialog box and add the thickness now thickness is 20 okay so let us change this value to 20 so it is 20 done I will repeat the same procedure to draw the feature on opposite side so I will select this face as my sketch plane and select this sketch tool now instead of drawing the profile again because I have to draw the same profile in this sketch plane I can directly project the profile already drawn on another plane on this parallel plane for that I will go to the operation toolbar select the last option in that we have project 3d elements so I will select that and select the feature of which profile is to be extracted so I have done that the yellow color is my sketch now I will exit the workbench add the material using pad command I have to add the material in opposite direction so I will select the option of reverse direction in pad definition dialog box okay and the depth is 20 it is already there so okay now I have done now we will add the material for the cylinder in the top view that is in the horizontal plane the diameter of outer cylinder is 80 because it is touching the extreme ends of this rectangular plate on the top and the diameter of inner circle is 60 so I will select the top surface of this rectangular plate as my sketch plane then I will choose the sketch tool I will select fit in all and I will draw two circles the diameter of my first circle is 80 so after placing the dimension I will edit the dimension value to 80 okay now we'll draw the another circle with the same center place the dimension and it's 60 now so I will edit the value of dimension to 60 okay done now center of both these circles lies exactly at the origin so I will select these two points center and the origin and apply the constraint for coincident so here I have done all the elements in my sketch are green that means the geometry is fully constrained so I will exit the workbench and now we will add the material in our direction using the pad command and the length of material addition in vertical direction is 20 so it's already there okay now I have added material to all the features in my component now let us remove the material so first of all we will make this hole on the top surface whose diameter is 30 so I will select the top surface of rectangular plate as my sketch plane then I select the sketch tool next I will draw one circle whose diameter is 30 so let us edit the value of this diameter it's 30 done and now this circle is concentric with this one so I have selected both the elements and now I will apply the concentricity constraint you can see now the circle is green it is fully constrained so let us exit the workbench now instead of adding the material I, I want to remove the material so for that we use pocket command in sketch based features toolbar so let us select that tool now depth of this hole is throughout I want to remove the material throughout the rectangular plate 
so in the type i will scroll and select up to last option and okay so i have got the throughout whole now there is one circular slot or you can say there is hole whose diameter is 32 on this left and right hand plates so i will select this left plate as my sketch plane I'll select the sketch tool draw the circle give the dimension it's 32 okay so i will edit the value of dimension to 32 okay now this circle is concentric with this circular feature so i have selected both these and now i will apply the concentricity constraint okay now you can see it's green in color that means it is fully constrained so we can exit the workbench now we'll use the pocket command to remove the material okay i want in this direction correct now i will select the option up to last so that material is also removed from this opposite side also so here now let us go to the view toolbar and select the option of isometric view and fit in all so this completes my diagram of modeling of this solid component it's very simple okay now i will hide these edges you can select uh, any one of these options as per your need and requirement thank you